Hey, welcome back. So, improv today. Improv, improv, improv. I went to... No. I went to an improv class on Thursday. Can you believe it? Um, and this is it. I, I don't know why when I did the improv 101 class, I didn't feel, I don't know, like that great about it or whatever. But when I did this class yesterday, which is, so I did improv 101 and then this was imp improv level one class, which is four weeks long. Um, and I was like, this is it. This is my thing. This has to be my thing to make me better. Ah, why didn't he hit him? Uh, uh. And we were playing the games. Specifically during one of the games, I remember smiling like, this is freaking it. I mean, this is it. This is how I get better. This is how I be who I want to be. It's improv. It sounds so stupid. <laughs> like this, the games were so perfect for like, I don't know. Part of me is like, whenever I hear the game, I'm like, oh my God, this is so perfect. I'm going to hate it. <laughs> I'm going to hate this game so much. It's, it's perfect for me. Um, But um, hopefully I just keep feeling this way about improv. I don't know what to do when I'm like done with the class. Like, do you have like a improv club you can go to or something? Because this improv class was $100. Like I'm just gonna spend $100 every four weeks. I can't do that. <laughs> but I need to do improv every week until I get like to where I wanna be. I need to do that. Um, so let's talk about the class. And hope I don't die here. Probably killing some of my guys, but whatever. Um, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff. So the thing, let's talk about the thing I like the most about the classes, which is We started off with a couple of the same games that I didn't like, which were the the game that I didn't like is the game where you 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 have an imaginary ball and you make a noise. And I'm gonna die. Oh god, please don't kill me. I'm just gonna get off this thing. Ugh, I think I got him. Uh oh. Here they come. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. I didn't like that game. You throw the ball, you make a noise, and then when you catch the ball, you have to make the same noise as the person who threw the ball, and then you have to make a new noise and throw the ball to somebody else. Um, and I didn't like that game. Because <laughs> it's weird to make noises. I don't wanna make a noise. Oh my god, how many guys are coming? Are you kidding me with this? I'm gonna die. Um, but we started to play more games. And I started to get more comfortable with the game of it. Like the gaminess of it. Um, I wanna say this right. Oh my god, it's the big boys. I forgot about this part. <laughs> This is hard. <laughs> this is not uh, like bagel. I remember if you, um, if you melee them in the back, I think that hurts them a lot. Like, am I crazy? Oop, I died. I wanna put this on easy, but I don't know how. Give me a second, I wanna, okay, good, uh, hold on. The idea of, I don't know why this didn't hit me 
as well in the first improv thing that we did. But the idea of building on what the other person is doing, um, this is hard. Okay, I got one down, one down. Sorry, I don't like getting distracted. Ugh. Ugh. I think you're supposed to do that. Ugh. Like that. Oh. Yeah, okay, cool. <sighs> okay, well, give me a second. There's a lot about this that I want to talk about, and it's just kind of hard. Um, but that's also what improv is supposed to help me with. <laughs> Um, I'm not going up there yet. Well, here's one aspect that I can talk about. Um, I don't know. No, I want to talk about the, the so he, the idea of building Im improv, like, okay, it's building one break at a time. That's the thing that he said. When you do improv, you're building one break at a time. So you put something down. You just say whatever. Then the other person takes a break and they put it down. Then you build off of that. You put a brick on top of that. Um, for some reason, it's helping me like this perspective of not just having to put it all on yourself and just, just don't even think about what to say. Just whatever that person says. Just be like, okay, build off of whatever they said. And even, we played this game that I liked where you do a scene. So I was in a scene with a guy and we were at a coffee shop. And he was like, um, oh, 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 oh. I forgot about these guys. <laughs> um, wow, that's really cool. I forgot about those invisible guys. Um... He's like, hey, man, can you believe the boss wants us to get coffee? And the game is you have to repeat the last line that the person says and then add a new line to it. And I'm like, this is my favorite game because it really teaches you to listen to what the other person's saying and to make something out of it that's new. It's just teaching you how to be a person and have a conversation. And I'm like, who else is this for? This is like perfectly for me. Who el who's getting anything out of this except for me? I'm I, like I'm thinking about the other people in the class. Like they don't have terrible social anxiety. Why? What are they getting out of this? <laughs> Do they think they're going to be on whose line is it anyway? Because they're not. <laughs> um, I'm definitely not. But I'm getting something out of it. I'm. It's teaching me how to have a conversation <laughs> and how to listen and communicate. Um, this is exactly what I wanted. That was the game where I felt like, okay, this is what I need. I need to do this like every week for the rest of my life until I'm better. <laughs> this is really gonna help me. Um, oop, look out. So, he was like, hey, can you believe the boss made us get a coffee? And then you have to say, yeah, I can't believe the boss made it, made us get him coffee. Like, what are you going to get him? And then he's like, yeah, what am I going to get him? Maybe I'll get him coffee and a donut. Um, I'll try to get him something nice so we don't work again, work late again this today. And I'm like, yeah, we have. To, I hope we don't have to work late again today because I had to work until 10 o'clock yesterday and then he says yeah I, I you had you had to work till 10 o'clock yesterday I had to work till 11 o'clock and then that's the game like you have to take what the last person said repeat it and then make a new thing um, it's a little bit easier because you can just make up whatever you want in real life obviously you can't make up whatever you want <laughs> but um, The, the, just the game of it is is fun. Like making conversations fun. It was fun to try to think of something. 
um, because whatever you said was right. You didn't have, you could never say anything wrong because the other person would take what you said and then make something out of it. That was the perfect game now, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, I just want to play that game every day. Um, my computer is glitching. Are you recording? Okay, because it didn't record yesterday. Um, so the, the thought I had is like, when you're in real life, so the improv environment that this guy created, Mike from Mopco, who was the teacher, was very, like, welcoming, and I felt comfortable saying anything. And I think any good improv person, like, that's how they make you feel. Like, whatever you say, you can't be wrong, because <laughs> I'm going to build on top of it. Even if I built something stupid, it's like it's improv. That's what we do. We make stupid stuff. Um, I think the only the only thing that I don't like is trying too hard. Like if you're trying too hard to make jokes, and I kind of got that impression from the teacher, Mike. Like one of the guys, every he was good in the class. Like the other guy in the class, he was doing good. But every once in a while, he would maybe try to force a joke a little bit too much and I got this like Mike is the teacher was a good guy but I got the sense that he was like don't like don't force it <laughs> just let it go and it seemed like that was the only thing that you could do that was wrong is like force something just be natural and say the first thing you think of don't try to like think of a clever joke don't do it Where am I going? Oh. Um, but other than that, like, you couldn't say anything wrong. Like, it does feel in real life that you can say something wrong. It's not a friendly environment. It's not like a comfortable environment when you're around people. And you're like, I, here's the thing. When I was in the improv class, I didn't feel like I was alone when I'm in real life, I feel like I'm alone. Like I'm, I have to do it by myself. I have to do this conversation by myself. It's all me. Yeah. I'm by myself. I'm alone in this. But in improv, it's always a group. It's always like a couple people, and they're just, they're trying to figure out the conversation just as much as you are. So they're, they're kind of like working with you. Like whatever you give them, they're like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes and, yes and. It's never no, it's never what? It's never, that's weird. It's always, okay, you said that, let's do something with it, <laughs> let's go. And then I have to be like, yes. I always have to be encouraging too. And I like being encouraging. It feels good to be like, okay, whatever this guy says, just do something with it. Just, just repeat it back and try to build on it doesn't have to be funny or anything, it just has to be something. And then he'll build off what I say. Um, okay, that's it for today. I'll talk more about improv tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot of, hopefully I got to an interesting point eventually there. Because it is, that, yeah, that game was the best game. And then we played games like kind of similar to that. And every time we kept played those games, I was like, yes, this is it. I have to this is gonna help me I've been looking for this really I this is what I've been looking for because <laughs> it's been so frustrating like going to therapy and then going to like the board game thing and being like is this gonna be the thing this is what I was looking for I don't think I could find anything better than this and I, I was like smiling when we were playing that game because um, yeah yeah, I'll end in a minute, but, um, so we played that game where we did a scene, and we were in the coffee shop, and, um, the teacher, Mike, and the other girl in the class did a scene first before us, and when they did their scene, I was smiling, I was, because I was like, this is it, this is exactly what I need, this is perfect, 
um, and I felt happy. See you tomorrow.